In this tutorial, we're going to create our very first material in UDK. We're going to take the three textures we imported from the previous tutorial, a diffuse map, a specular map, and a normal map, and we're going to pass these textures through a material. So first, let's open up Content Browser, and let's find the package that we saved our textures into. I'm going to search for WOLD tutorials. Here they are. So we have the package created and we have our group to organize the textures. So I'm going to select WOLD tutorials. There are a couple of ways of creating a new material. First, we can left click on new. And we have to set our package, set group, set the name and under factory, you have to choose material. So I'm going to cancel this and show you a second way is to right click in the empty gray space in between the textures or any assets that you see in the preview pane. Right click and scroll up until you find new material. Same box menu option will pop up. So let's set that package. The package is the one that we have chosen on the packages panel right here. If you don't see the package that you want to save your material into, you either cancel, select the one that you want to save into and then create the new material or use the drop down window and find the package that you want to save into. Grouping, I'm going to create a new group to organize the materials into. I'm going to name this materials. Name, the name of this texture is going to be cobblestone. So I'm going to name MAT for material. This is just a prefix to help me recognize which are materials and which are textures. And you can set this in the beginning of the name or you can set it after. And factory, this will be set to material. And let's click OK. Material editor will open and it is completely empty. It's blank. So let's close this for a second. Let's go back and select our main package. And we can see we have our material created and with nothing in it. Let's double click on the material to open the material editor. Let's set up the most basic material we can using only three textures that we imported. So let me move this over a little bit because we're going to need the content browser. And I'm going to jump back into content browser while the material editor is open. I'm going to grab and select the diffuse and then jump back to material editor. And in the main working area, I'm going to hold T and left click. This will place a texture sample node with the selected material we had in the content browser. So I'll move this up. Let's insert a spec map. I'm going to show you a different way of doing so. Here in the material expressions on the right hand side, I'm going to type in texture. And we need the texture sample. So I'm going to left click, hold and drag into the working area. And I'm going to position it right here. This is the same diffuse because we have it selected in here, but we need a spec map. So I'm going to select the spec map, jump back into material editor, and with the texture sample selected in the options, we need to replace this. So I'm simply going to use the selected object in the content browser, and it's going to replace to the spec map. Let's jump back to the content browser, and let's select our normal map. Material editor, and this time I'm going to press T, left click, normal map. So here what we need to do is we need to connect our diffuse, spec, and normal map to their appropriate input boxes. So I'm going to grab the very top, the black little box, and this is the RGB, all three channels of the texture. The red and the green and the blue are red, green, blue channels, and the white is the alpha channel. So I'm going to grab the very top, left click, hold and drag. And it's going to give us this little wire from the texture sample and we need to connect it right into diffuse. Then we need to do the same for spec map, connect it into specular and let's do it for the normal map as well. And let's switch the preview to a cube. So here we have created a very basic material with nothing else but three texture samples. 
let's go ahead and compile and save our material. I'm going to close the material editor. And here is the material. We can now use this material in the level. So I'm going to go into, move this over a little bit. And let's apply it to this box. I'm going to left click, drag. And we've created a very simple material and applied it to a static mesh. 